Brooke Wells, who is out front early. Brooke has the speed. She has the experience. And Wells is one of the strongest athletes. Very, very powerful. I'm Brooke Wells, seven-time CrossFit Games athlete, and these are my top five moments. Set number one, it is Randy today, and Bill. It's only 75 snaps, it's no big deal. 2015, my very first regional appearance ever. Um, I was 19 years old, and I remember being so, so nervous. Wells is doing, she's moving so well, she's just not stopping at all. I didn't have a care in the world, I didn't have any expectations on myself, so I just like went for it. I remember being so shocked that I like crossed the finish line first, and that was like, to this day, one of the coolest things like ever for me. After winning that event, I think I kind of realized I'm meant to be here and think I want to do this for like a career. Athletes face 20 increasingly heavy barbells starting at 275 pounds and going all the way up to 415. So this is my second year of the games. I mean, we had no idea what was coming for us or what to expect because that morning we had flown at like 5 a.m. to the ranch. Event two, the ranch deadlift ladder began just 15 minutes after the trail run ended. Going through like a brutal ranch run, not doing very well, I really wanted to like switch that around and do the best that I could. Brooke Wells would clear the ladder with a monstrous lift of 415 pounds. I had never deadlifted that much in my life, so I didn't really expect to make it that far. Having my first event and one at the CrossFit Games was like huge. I was so excited. Brooke Wells entering the event in sixth place, just 12 points behind Katie Trombetta for that fifth spot. I remember I loved this event on paper already, but just being in like not the top heat, I knew that I had some serious work to get done. And heat three is underway. This is Brooke Wells' event. I mean, she is custom tailored for this. When you're sitting outside the top five, it's just like, you will do anything that you can to get back into that spot. Scary for everybody else is the fact that this is going to be the weaker of the three movements for her, and she is not weak at toes to bar either. And it was a cool workout too because none of the reps were very long. It was, I remember feeling like I was just running from like the toes to bar to the deadlift. 106 pound kettlebells on each side, Brooks Wells having no problem with those. I never was like on a movement for very long. Brooke Wells continues to tear off the leaderboard bit by bit, and she might be finding herself back in the top five wow. with an event record 621. I didn't expect to set an event record, but I knew that it was going to be a good event for me. Final heat is underway. A top 10 athletes in the overall standings lined up on the floor. So it started with 50 heavy double unders, but we'd never seen the parallel bars before, so I knew that it would come down to the parallel bars. Final heat is underway, and Tia Toomey is on the right of your screen. She comes into this event with an 86 point lead. I did the double unders, I'm broken, but I wasn't like rushing at all throughout this whole thing. I mean, they don't even really show me very much because I wasn't worried about getting in the front at the beginning of it because I knew it would come down to the end. I remember getting on the parallel bars and like, they have a lot more give than you think. So you kind of have to like fall with them and like move your hands really fast. The Brooke Wells looks like she's gonna win the event. I mean, again, just so shocked to win that event because it was kind of like one of those no one really knew who was going to win an event because we'd never seen it before. You're talking about the track background for Brooke Wells. That should play in a factor. This is going to be a little redemption from her from 2019. I thought it was so cool that like we just had a run with like zero distractions. My strategy here was to just I wanted to get out in front, obviously, but not kill myself to where I didn't have anything left in the tank and like lose the lead. I mean, I just didn't let up off the gas at all. Look at the lead. Wells has put on David's daughter. I love sprinting events and I felt like that was redemption from one that didn't go so well in the past. I know, I know I've been doing this for a long time, but like looking back, I'm like, wow, that was a really long time ago.